cash short and over. We use this account uh, anytime our journal entry won't balance and we plug a number to the cash short and over account. Let me give you an example. Let's say at the end of the day, the cash register says there should be $400 in the register, but when you count it, you only count 398. We always debit cash for the amount that we are able to deposit at the bank, and we always credit sales for the amount that the cash register thinks should be in there. In this example, we're $2 short, so we can put a two in the debit column to make the journal entry balance and we'll debit the account cash short and over. Now let's look at scenario two. Let's now think that the cash register thinks there's 398, but we count 400, so we're $2 over. Again, we will debit cash for the amount that we physically are able to deposit at the bank We'll credit sales for the amount uh, that the cash register thinks is in there, if a register could think. And we will credit $2 to cash short and over to make everything balance. So what kind of account is cash short and over? If at the end of the year, this account has more debits than credits, or in other words, if it has a debit balance, then it is considered an expense on the income statement. Alternatively, if this account has a credit balance, then it would be considered like a revenue on the income statement. The cash short and over account usually has a debit balance.